Hi everyone, this is Alexander Ansipov, and in this video I am going to show how to read CSV file and display its content on the screen of a mobile phone. Create new application and add corresponding API plugin CSV Reader. Plugin already contains one screen, so let's change default routing to this screen and test. For testing, let's remove mobile frame and use the same functionality of Google Chrome browser. We can choose CSV file. So let's do it. On the screen, you see the file content. To see it better, let's rotate the screen. Our file contains such columns as username, identifier, first and last name. And one column was added by us. It is edit column. After clicking edit, we will see in console log the data of corresponding row. Now let's take a look how this plugin works. Go to Zapier. And first let's open CSV reader screen. First we have to read CSV file and then we have to display it on the screen. For reading file, we added input component with type file, also specified accepted property and added change event. After selecting any file, we invoke handle upload function. This function is responsible for reading CSV file and to do it, we added ngx proper parse library and on the screen we have to include this library as custom include. Now let's take a look the code of handle upload function. So the code is pretty simple. First we get access to the file, then we parse this file using proper parse library and save result into results variable. Then we take the first element of our array, iterate through all properties of it and push the property name into array with name columns. If you would open variables tab here we can see that uh, Papa is a variable with type Papa. Results and columns are just some abstract arrays. And to show the results on the screen we use data table component. Here we iterate through columns array and create column in a data table for any column in a CSV file. Last column is our custom column with name edit and our goal after clicking on edit to get access to corresponding row. For that we specified cell template. So here you can see that we insert an icon component and specified click event as edit row. Let's close this pop-up and again go to the code tab and functions. And now we see that edit function accept one argument row and just log the value of row in console. I'm not going to recreate the functionality on screen one as I do usually, because I'm sure that if you will be needed to add the same functionality into your application, you will be able to do it by analogy with the CSV reader screen. That is all what I wanted to show in this video. Thanks for watching.